My Aesop's Fable is the rose and the butterfly. Here's how the story goes. A butterfly once fell in love with a beautiful rose. The rose was not indifferent, for the butterfly's wings were patterned in a charming pattern of gold and silver. And so when he fluttered near it, he told her he loved her. She blushed resolutely and said yes. After much pretty love making and many whispered vows of constancy, the butterfly took a tender leave of his sweetheart. But at last, it was a long time before he came back to her. Is this your constancy? She exclaimed tearfully. It is ages since you went away and all the time you have been carrying on with all sorts of flowers. I saw you kiss Miss Geranium and you fluttered around Miss Mignonet until Honeybee chased you away. I wish he had stung you. Constancy, laughed the butterfly. I had no sooner left you than I saw Zypher kissing you. You carried on scandalously with Mr. Bumblebee, and you made eyes at every single bug you can see. You can't expect constancy from me. I chose this story to compare because it reminded me of my love for butterflies. You may also be in love with a plant or an insect or an animal even. I am going to express how much I love this insect and why. Now then, I will continue to tie these two together with the story and my love for butterflies. My mamma, who passed away a little over a year ago, she loved butterflies. And so I sort of carried on that legacy of loving butterflies. Um, she had everything was butterflies, you know, like jewelry, she had clothes, she had all sorts of things that were had butterflies all over them and she had things in her car that were had butterflies on them and so every time that I go outside to see a butterfly I think of her but you know butterflies don't really come and lay on you or sit on you or whatever land on you I guess they don't do that they um flutter around and don't come near you and so I thought about this when I read this story is this butterfly fluttered around this one person and so I'm sort of the rose and I'm just sitting there and I'm waiting for the butterfly to land on me and it just doesn't land on me it lands on other things like a tree leaf or a chair outside or a rock or a car or something and so I am the rose who doesn't really get the love from the butterfly and um, I just don't expect consistency from wanting the butterfly to land on me in remembrance of my memoir. <laughs>